ready. And they're racing. Autumn Chris, wide out, got away fast, but eases back. Ice Shadow, Thunder of Guns, going quickly. Military Power's really burning up. God's Wrath is going to be handy. It's racing one off the fence, and Mary Martini is over on the inside. Pilbara Song is just off them, and From Little is pressing forward. Thunder of Guns, restraining out wide. Grey Mistress, one off the fence, is improving a little bit now. And then came Tropical Sun, who's about six from the leader. Puakai got up on the inside, and two and a half to Autumn Crisp. A long gap in the field to Ellie Christina, and under the whip is inside voice of the back. The favourite military power has found the rail. Leads the way from God's Wrath, who moves up on the outside. Just off them is Mary Martini. Grey Mistress tries to get to the outside. Puakai is looking for a run as well. Inside the 250. Military power is in front. They're coming at it. Grey Mistress the outside. Puakai is trying to battle on. Military power in front. Grey Mistress coming at it hard. Military power. Grey Mistress going home better. Grey Mistress takes the lead. Draws clear from military power and Puakai and Grey Mistress has won. Causes the upset and Beat home military power, Puakai, Mary Martini, and then came Tropical Sun, followed by Autumn Crisp, and behind it ran on pretty well from Pilbara Song and Eyeshadow God's Wrath. Well back was Ellie Christina, and then came Thunder of Guns. Eyeshadow was a long way back, and the last one to uh, greet the judge here is from Little. And it's an upset win with Grey Mistress, who drifted 5.50 to 8.50, getting over the top of military power who had its chance out in front, couldn't get away from them. And a grey mistress for Chris Parnham has finished strongly. Has been okay in recent starts. It's finished fourth on both occasions. It's battled hard up the straight. But not many thought it could get over the top of military power here today, but despite the drift, got into a pretty good spot, one off the fence. It wasn't brilliantly away, but Chris just pushed it along a little bit to get a little bit closer in that first 200, one off. And then he's worked it to the outside around hills and got to the middle of the track, started to really respond and look very dangerous from about the 300. Puakai was trying to get around hills and was running home well. And uh, Mary Ta Martini has run OK after trialling quite well after being f third on the fence most of the way, has held down fourth. 58.96, 34.60 for the final 600. And it's won by one and a half on the first event today over the thousand. So Chris Parnham and Grey Mistress combining here with um, Danny Morton, of course, the disappointment yesterday of Alaskan God, the very good runner star trade, though, in defeat in the railway, finishing third. So it was a mixed day overall for the Morton Yard. But uh, they got the money here with Grey Mistress and uh, a string of owners. Too many to mention, but uh, it's uh, Philly by Sessions out of uh, Helmarski, a helmet mare. And that is uh, win number one after being consistent with six starts for one placings and uh, three-fourths prior to today. As uh, we'll head downstairs and maybe have a chat with the connections. A lot of connections there are as well, Richie. Is Danny here? He's oh, he's out there strapping. He's got his cowboy hat on. Well, we'll have to get in and speak to the connections then. How happy are you after this? A maiden victory. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, she's been close the last couple of runs. She's run really well and we've just been a bit unlucky sometimes with the barriers. But yeah, today sat closer to the speed and Chris rode her beautifully. So absolutely wrapped. Tell us about the ownership group. Is it uh, you're all mates or is it a situation where you've all just got in and all of a sudden enjoying race days together? Oh, we're, we're mates now. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we sort of just got to know each other. Um, in the group so yeah we've um, all been to races and come together today so it's been fantastic so yeah it's been very exciting. I'm hearing over the fence tell us how uh, we all met so what is the story? Oh. I found him on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> in the uh, um, Grey Mistress fan club and I sort of befriended them and uh, I've just stalked them now on, on social media but no, no we're friends so yeah it's great. It's amazing how racing can bring people together I'm sure you'll all enjoy a beer in celebration well done. Oh, 100% thanks Britt. The ownership of a grey mistress out here on a Sunday, having a great time. Let's get over to Chris Parnham. Who has just Brit uh, burst the bubble of Brittany Taylor too in the ownership of the second horse. Chris, grey mistress really travelled nicely today and it looked like you were keen to hold a forward spot. Yeah, well, um, we're still trying to work her out. Like she's, She shows plenty on the track, and but sort of hasn't really delivered at race day yet. So um, we were able to sit a little bit closer today and not burn too much fuel and she was good through the line. At the 250 metre mark, you look full of confidence just holding it together until making that last run. Yeah, well, she's only got a short little kick on her, so I didn't want to sort of 
go go too soon on her, but um, you know, to her credit, she actually ran through the line, so um, hopefully that's going to last win. For those that haven't caught the beaten jockeys out of the railway stakes, I'll thought on Alaskan God. Yeah, he was he was below par, so um, not sure how he's pulled up, um, what Danny's had to say, but um, he's a lot better horse than that, so I'd expect him to. Well, yeah, I'd hope for him to improve next time. Congratulations here, well done. Thank you. There is Chris Parnham, combines with Danny Morton, and Grey Mistress takes out the first of the day.